I'm Zane. <laughs> so, so generally, every once in a while, I'll get a copyright claim, you know, which doesn't actually affect anything outside of monetization, you know. But I don't monetize my crap anyway, so who, who cares? And actually, it's generally by the cop copyright claim holder. So, Square Enix, Capcom, you know, that. But no, no, you know, fucking... I, I open my YouTube to see, oh, hey, your Resident Evil 5 Episode 9 video has been removed. Which I was perplexed, to say the least, because I don't even have that thing beyond set to private, you know? So, from there on... Oh... This is, uh... So I, I get that, I read it, and I'm like, okay, it's been removed. Why would Capcom do such a thing? It wasn't! It was some fucking random-ass goddamn company that took this away from me. And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Right goddamn now. <sighs> and, you know, like, that's the thing, right? It's like... Why would a random company own the fucking rights to the visual contents of Resident Evil 5? Like, I can understand if it was Capcom, but Capcom wouldn't fucking do a shit like that. Ugh. I mean, so so I go and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna dispute the fuck out of this. And I go click the claim. Oh, there's no copyright claims on this video. You couldn't have sent me like a, a we're sorry, we're fucking dumb note or anything, YouTube? Like, it, it just had to just be there? Yeah, well that shit is, it's all automated. I, I know it's all automated, it's fucking bullshit. How the fuck can they find a goddamn private video and put copyright claims on it in the first fucking place? Like, like you know, I don't I don't set my stuff to unlisted or anything. I can't keep it to private, so that way when I set it out, it's the most recent uh, video in my timeline. Oh yeah, these uh, mechanical automated things, search systems, they, uh, they work regardless of whether the videos are public or not, but... Uh, the bullshit thing is the very fact that they just did the game footage as, well, their content, quote-unquote. Yeah, that's bullshit, and that should never, ever happen. Unless it's like, actually, you know, the people that, de that published and or developed the game. And even then, half the time, it's dick move. Sega, Nintendo, we're looking at you. It's not just them, though. Microsoft does it, uh, Sony does it. It's just, uh, Sega's probably the most severe in that. In that, uh, when they removed all those accounts that had Shining Force 3 videos on, on them, and I'm like, that's bullshit. It's bad, because, like, S Sega is, like, legitimately... I was a Sega kid. I mean, I had both systems, but I loved Sega consoles way more than I did Nintendo. Like, and especially the games. And I never had any consoles. Sad face. It's all good. What? I don't know. It's, it's all good. You don't, you don't miss much by not having the consoles, especially now since you could just play them. You know, you could just emulate all of it. Not, not that you should emulate any of the newer systems, but, you know, like a Super Nintendo and NES. Well, yeah, it's not like I would be able to emulate a newer system if I tried. I mean, it's technically possible, but, but you... it's so damn hard to emulate uh, hardware through software that it's... No, no PC is going to survive this. Right. And I like that guillotine there. Very interesting. Okay, speaking of that... Um, my recording got interrupted for a second of audio because my internet broke down. What second of video are we on? Uh, four, four, thirty-one, thirty-two. Okay. Thanks. 33. Oh, this part. This is bullshit. Usually they have a mishmash of different words from different languages. Here is just a Russian word for project. It says project. Yeah, what kind of project this is, we don't know. Uh, the, the, the Crates and Barrel project, Yeah, obviously. and also the ancient vampiric chest slash box with some badly defined gobbles of 
pink energy. Oh, the Lord, it's very tasty. He's getting his read on right it's now. It's so tasty that it makes him go, ah! <laughs> Uh, but this game is very weird. Simply fantastic. Their use of imagery mixed with impressionistic neo-modernism was simply breathtaking. I like the colors. Yes, yes, but what was really stunning was the pathos of the protagonist. The way he couldn't decide whether to allow fate to sweep him forward, or if he should thwart destiny's cruel end. Oh, yes, that was interesting. It reminds me of Sergio's use of Deus Ex Machina in order to resolve dilemmas of the ego. I'm hungry. Yes, yes. I love this dialogue. Like, it's so retarded, but... It's De Deus Ex Machina. Yeah, machina. It should be Machina. It, it, it is Machina. Like, everybody knows it's Machina, but apparently this voice actor... Honestly, I'm I'm surprised you you didn't kill him just for for one being a huge fucking spurg lord, but two just like the Deus ex machina. Like serious? Yeah. You if you're okay, if you're any sort of actor, you should at least know how to pronounce Deus ex machina. Like that there is no excuse for you to not know how to pronounce that. Maybe it was a deliberate move on their part. Although, I'm probably giving them too much credit. And by the way, this green goo is so fucking slow. It is the slowest thing! There is no reason there, for it! And this uh, thing is also slow. And there will be even slower uh, other pipes. Yes, you get... I botched it, but you got my point. Yes. Still, I could not... You know what? You should... Yes. You should use your jump ability to get up there. Uh, no, it only goes it, in a uh, in a horizontal plane. I know. I know. Oh, that was a joke. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, cause cause even though uh, Kane has mad ups, he doesn't have that mad of ups now. Uh, but yeah, no, this this is very weird. How e almost every part of of this game has been a sewer level. Yes, and uh, there are going to be more uh, sewers. There are going to be more warehouses, houses. Uh, there are going to be more catacombs, and that is that pretty much covers it. Yeah, that I don't doubt in the least. And it's bit. all going to be all gray, sometimes brown, and one last level will go is going to have a dash of green. I do remember that level. I think I remember that level. I'm almost certain I'm I remember that level at least 25%. If you remember even one frame of it, you remember all of it. Pretty much. I do remember the end game and what that looked like. <laughs> That's like the apotheosis of all the retardedness and uh, more retardedness. Oh, easily. Epiphysis? Is that what you're going for? Or is that. I probably. I thought I said apotheosis. Although I might be fucking up the pronunciation. That's all good. I, I won't make fun of. Uh, okay, maybe I will. Sometimes. But you're not a native English speaker, so it doesn't. doesn't yeah, maybe. Matter. Well, it kind of matters when you can't understand what the hell I'm saying. I, 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 I get the gist of it. Luckily, English is a very plastic language. It has plasticity in, in everything. So, you know, no matter how broken someone's English is, since it's not a case-sensitive language anymore. You can kind of make out what they're going for. Yeah, besides, my English is not that broken. Well, no, it's not. I hope. It's not, don't worry. Good. Come on, Kane, you got the mad ups, you can make this jump. Nope. You know, I... Oh, wait, no, you can't You can't actually make the jump unless it's uh, colored, isn't it? Uh, you can only make a jump when it's purple. Yeah, that's what or I Or red for offensive like, if... jumps. 
If you could, that'd be really cool if you... Because all you do is just, you jump in the water, but you could still make it up the, uh... The stairs otherwise. Yeah, but unfortunately this, uh... Little railing over here, it prevents Kane from doing anything. You're having so much trouble right now. Yeah, I don't even remember what was going through my head, if anything. Well, you have to realize there's a box for a reason. And it's here. Oh, this part. I love this part. There you go. You, you know, you, you, you can stop now. Just, 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 just go. Just go. And it's not so gonna I come do. Up again. <laughs> See, look, the, your hubris has has damned you for the first time, for the last time. It's not the last for the, time. For every time, it is not the last time because I know because you're gonna do it every time. Because I know you're gonna do it every time. In fact, I'm going to get bitten in the ass by different things. Not just the wheels. Huh. I'm sure you'll get you get bitten by the ass by the other wheels. The wheels in the sky. The ones that keep on turning. What? Uh, it, it, it's a song reference. The, your American audience will okay. enjoy it. I have no idea what you said, but I, I believe you. In the comments and the uh, in the thread, people will be like, "Oh, Zane, you are hilarious!" I guarantee you. Okay. Now, my question to you is that since they attack you once you lock onto them, you didn't want to lock onto them at least once in there because they'd all go hostile, wouldn't they? Uh, I think it's about distance, but I'm not really sure. I don't remember honestly. But in any event, I just wanted to let them duke it out and simply to show off that they can kill each other. Which is nice. And makes sense. Yeah. Now the thing, you know, that really doesn't... Like, the whole fight doesn't make any sense to us, nor does it really make sense in any lore kind of perspective too, because it's just a bunch of thugs fighting it out. Are they from rival gangs? Who knows? We'll never know. Yeah, supposedly they're from rival gangs and we're supposed to figure it out because they're of different colors and this guy's going to talk about who gives a shit. Uh, and, well, yeah. I got nothing else. Yeah, the glyph armor. This is supposed to prevent you from stealthing through things. And you're also supposed to step forth and die. That too. Don't worry, I just spawned from the monster closet. So did I! I thought I was getting destroyed here, but it's not here. I don't remember shit. Ah, that's all good. And you can hear the alarm. I hope you can. It's very subtle. Yeah, but you can hear the alarm. It means that we are going to have more Seraphan later. Yay. I like the Seraphan. They're the best. It's actually funny because uh, Seraphan, which is the same word but with I instead of E, and the rolling R instead of R is a uh, word, is a Russian word for one of uh, like traditional Slavic, Eastern Slavic female dresses. Huh. That's yeah. very weird. I don't think they anyone thought about it. Yeah, hell, even I didn't make the connection until literally 10 seconds ago. It never occurred to me before. Well, I, I thought Seraph, like. The, the word seraph was like in regards to angels in biblical lore, but I, you know, I'm not a very, I'm not a very good Christian in that I, well, I, I'm not a, actually, but anyway, like, I don't, uh, I don't know all the biblical stuff. And neither do I. So. Neither do I. 
but well it may be the right from Seraphim, but I have no idea. I you know, I I, I it would make more sense if it was derived from Ser Seraphim, but you know hard to say. Besides it's not like a lot of things make sense here. No, no. And even those things that do make sense, if you really think about them. No, not really. Nope. Nope. Well, you you know you also have to consider uh, even though the these writers really didn't know what the hell they were doing. The Seraphim existed in the other uh, you know Legacy of Cain games, and a lot of writers, uh, whether they like to admit it or not, uh, take a lot of inspiration from other writers. Uh, in this case, uh, biblical like. I can't tell you how many writers I know that like just take a lot from uh, the Bible as as inspiration and kind of augment it from there. If needed, I if I ever write something, I will be able to easily circumvent that by simply not reading the Bible. You'd be surprised how many things that you might feel are unique, but actually uh, are well biblical. So. I mean, it's not that it's not impossible, because it's not. It's just... Like, there's a lot of things that you... You feel like, oh yeah, no, this isn't... This isn't from the Bible, and then you're like... And somebody's like, oh, did you get this from the Bible? Like, what the fuck? Well, then again, the Bible is not a unique thing. Well, no. It is... It is okay, if, if you want to know the whole whole thing... The Bible is actually the Cliff Notes version of the, of I want to say the Talmud from uh, Jer uh, Jewish, you know, faith and all that. And yeah, yeah. Who Ooh. cares? Let's keep talking. Basically, yeah. But basically, the Talmud is like this big, big, like, like almost ten thousand page epic, you know, like of of biblical stuff. And the Bible itself is. The Cliff Notes version of that. That's why there's a lot of weird things that you don't actually, uh, that are generally out of context, which needs the Toll Mood. And um, actually, funny thing about the Toll Mood, I believe it's the Toll Mood. It, it, it's one of the one of the three books in in Jewish religion. Um, they actually uh, recognize transgenderisms. Uh, so, and in the in the Toll Mood, they consider seven different genders. There's you know the uh, androgynous, uh, androgynous gender. There's, you know, being a very masculine man, uh, kind of in between masculine and feminine man, and then a, you know, a, a, a man that's a, you know, or a woman in a uh, man's body sort of thing. And, you know, same difference with females. So that's, that's where the seven, uh, genders, and they don't say at, at all points, at any point to, uh, discriminate against any of those people. So that's why that's why the Bible is literally the Cliff Notes version, and it you know you know how it is with Cliff Notes and Spartans yeah. Well, I don't think like, I don't think I remember the Bible uh, requiring the believers to discriminate against against transgender people. Well, yeah, no, it's just that people love to come up with justifications for some bullshit. Right, right, right. No, exactly. There and and you know, we read. If you read any sort of religious text, they don't ever say discrimination or hate or violence against. Well, well, some, some, uh, some do. Some, so, yeah, yeah. But actually, uh, the Talmud and it was all it was all very progressive. I mean, the only difference is that uh, women weren't technically equal. They were pretty equal, but they weren't completely equal. But you know, uh, and it's just interesting. And you know, whenever somebody's like brings up the whole like, oh well, you know. Uh, women, uh, you know, it talks about women on, on menstruation periods and that they need to be, uh, uh, you know, put in a different area because they're unclean. It's like, well, yeah, they're bleeding. So there's that. And, you know, you have to realize as a, as a tribal uh, people that kept, well, moving... Uh, I forgot the whole word for that. Uh, nomadic. But nomadic. Thank you. Yeah, nomadic people. Um, what that meant is when women was on were on their menstruating periods, and since a lot of women together 
uh, tend to have the same periods. That means that, you know, while they are, yes, unclean, it's because, again, they're bleeding. They knew that blood is not very clean. Uh, that means that their chores, they were out of chores. They didn't have to do chores that whole time. They, they had time to just, you know, kind of get it out and then come back. And, you know, the only, the way to, to cleanse yourself was to take a bath. So, like, e even, even though it was, you know, they were supposedly separated from the rest, it wasn't because it, like, they're just misogynistic assholes. It's because, well, you know, they're cramped, bloated, angry, bleeding, and there there were no tampons or anything like that. So it kind of made sense in the in the whole nomadic ideals. But yeah, that's 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 my fun little like Bible stories with Zane or. I guess Talmud stories. Either way, uh, r religious context. I like, I, you know, even though I'm not very much religious myself, I enjoy talking about it and, you know, all the things that are associated with that.